I can tell you that the courthouses are safe. We do have our full-time deputies staff there today. And you know, why the, the emergency closure? You know, we don't know why at this point. We don't have any answers and we don't know how long this is going to last. Okay. But um, from what we understand, a number of part-time deputies called in sick, right? That is correct. Um, we have our part-time annuitants positions. They called in sick today. To give you an estimate of how often we use them, throughout the county courthouses, each day, we probably use approximately 30 to 35 part-time annuitants positions. And they assist us in the court process, and they help us a lot. And um, they're very essential, even though they're part-time. And as you mentioned to us off camera, um, you know, we're, we're going to ask, uh, do we know why a number of uh, part-time uh, per diem deputies call in at the same time? We don't know why. However, it's very possible that it is related to the delayed negotiations between the deputies and the county. However, we have not heard for certain. Was your office given any notification this action was going to happen today before you know, they called in? It's been talked about in the past, but we never received a date or a time or even for certain that this was going to occur. Okay. Do they belong to a um, union or anything like that? No, they do not belong to a union. And today, for them calling in and saying they're not able to come to work, they will not get compensated for today. They do not receive pay. They don't acquire sick or vacation time. So today's an unpaid day for them. What are the usual uh, activities they help with? They help with everything. They, um, they man courtrooms, they transport inmates back and forth, um, they provide security in the courthouse. And the courthouse is still safe. We do have our full-time deputies there. So the only people who are allowed inside, who are they? Yes, we are. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Um, we have drop boxes at all of the courthouses, so if someone would like to file paperwork, they still are able to drop off the paperwork at a drop box. However, what we're focusing on is in custody hearings. So Department 8B is up and running today, and that is for arraignments. When someone's brought into custody, they have 48 hours that they, um, we must not buy, hold on a second, I want to reiterate that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. When someone's in custody, they have to be arraigned within 48 hours and we're assuring that that's going to be done and we don't foresee any releases or dismissing of charges because of this emergency staffing crisis. What happens if this happens again tomorrow? We want to keep things safe. It's, we're just going to have to do the same thing tomorrow. We don't know when this is going to end, but we don't know when this is going to end. We don't know when they're going to come back to work and if this happens tomorrow, we're probably just going to do the same thing. And Andrea? who have uh, other um, issues like tickets, uh, family court, things like that, do they have to reschedule? So yes, there are clerks and there's court staff there in the building, judges and attorneys and other court staff there in the building. They are working as if it's a normal day. Um, like I said, you can drop off paperwork at a drop box. Also restraining orders, you also can still turn your paperwork in for a restraining order. and. They are conducting business inside and it is safe. Andrea, are these deputies that called in sick today, are they any part of any organization or you said they're not unionized, are they members of an association of any kind? So also Joe, I want to let you know that these are not, they're per diem deputies, they're part-time, so we call them part-time annuitants, employees. Um, they schedule their own work hours and like I said, they don't occur any vacation time either or sick time, so today they will not be compensated. And um, I'm not sure, I did hear that they may be part of the SEIU, but I'm not for certain. Okay. How many um, uh, cases do you think have been rescheduled for today? That I don't know, you would have to check with the courts. We don't know about the rescheduling. Um, as far as a, a delay, the delay that we're concerned about is not violating the 48 hour arraignment period for in custody inmates. Yes, today Lodi is running as usual, so Lodi has not been affected by this. However, Manteca Courts has, but they have a drop box as well, and the juvenile court is operating with one courtroom. How many uh, inmates do you typically transport to the court per day? You know, I can tell you after this three-day weekend, it's a busy weekend, um, I would estimate over 100 inmates are being arraigned today.